Hey guys and welcome to Euro Truck Simulator 2 3 no 1.32 beta we have trailers we finally have the trailer uh, it's open beta from what I understand SES have bought it to Euro Truck Simulator 2 first so they can iron out all the issues and then put it over to American Truck Sim now I got thinking now it's gonna be a long-winded video this one because this is my first look on the trailers and kind of going over a bit of explanation with that the reason they're doing it people are probably going to be freaking out oh why don't they care about a American Truck Simulator the reason they're doing it is let's face it majority of the players are on Euro Truck Sim not American Truck Sim it makes sense so everyone's testing it early for majority of people that own it no doubt will be testing it because there are so many changes, so many. Let's just jump right into the main menu. Look how different it is right away. Uh, we're seeing a couple of new things. Trailer dealership. Uh, we're seeing trailer upgrades, obviously. And down here, trailer management. This has all been completely swapped around. So as you can see, this is my test profile. I've, set, I've already bought a truck and done a trip to kind of get used to it. But you can see how it's going to work. So you can go to trailer dealership. And right now, I just hope this is for the uh, beta test. We only have your standard trailers, if you like. Nothing speciality, so your flatbeds and curtain side type trailers and refrigerators. So you've got your flatbed there, different types of curtain sides, and basically cargo like that. And then if you are in Denmark, Norway, Sweden, you can get the double B's and all of that good stuff. There is no low loaders or heavy haul stuff yet. Kind of disappointed, but again, I understand it is a beta. So let's just jump into, say, a flatbed, for example. We'll go to customization. And you can do uh, chain type, but of course, you can't really chain a flatbed together on this. ATS, you'll be able to, obviously. So we can go from the wooden deck to completely metal. You can do different axle types, so your twin axle down there. Uh, spread, actually, let's reset the camera. Because you can't now reset the camera too, by the way. Let's see if we can get... So spread there, which I've never seen in the UK, personally. Very common in the UK. Uh, steerable, rear spread. Uh, looking at that axle, you can't even tell it's steerable. And then spread steerable again. I've never seen these in the UK. And then, I'm guessing these two here steer. Those two axles there. So, just for commonality, we'll go with that. And then you can change the different colours for your base colours. And then, there's yellow. And then you can do your custom colour or whatever you want. So I'll just go there for now. I'm not actually going to purchase this. I just want to throw that out there. And you can go for different rear mud guards. Uh, this says, was it? Wheel lead wheel led and up here we can go for fancy sort of looking show lights at the back I'm noticing these have issues right now but again beta you've got to remember that on the back side here we can go steps fire extinguisher and toolbox again water tank plastic box spare tire uh, protector painted box chrome box and that will lead us on to, I'll only show you one axle, but you can go different uh, rim options now. Again, the, the modders are going to have an absolutely freaking field day with this. Uh, tire options, if you rec recognize these. It would be nice if we see Michelin DLC come to this as well. So if SCS happens to be watching this, which I doubt, uh, that would be kind of cool to see that at some point. And none of these are chrome, so... Possibly straight up chrome ones of these, and then you can do your different bolt types or whatever you want. Uh, hubs, various different styles, and you can put the chrome guard on if you like, whatever they call that. Okay, coming towards the front over here, that is your lighting, so you can have lots of chicken lights down the side or just a few marker lights, whatever you want to call them. Side protector rail, completely. Uh, boxed in and then pallet box I'm not sure what a pallet box is to me it would be a thing for pallets <laughs> I'm not sure is it literally that uh, so I would personally go with this 
And then, you, again, you can... It is not reversible, so you could do, like, solid side on one side, and then the pallet box on the other. Again, just kind of looks a little dark in my mind. And that is the trailer. Uh, we can do that so you can get a screenshot of it if you wish, and then hit this button, which is always available. Boom. Clean, right? Okay, so that is that, and then, of course, you go confirm, and uh, actually we can do that, confirm, and then it will put us up over there. Uh, the curtain side stuff, we'll go configuration quickly so you can see that. Again, you can do the different types of um, double uh, doubles and um, B-doubles, stuff like that. Single, and then you can do dry freight, do the side doors. A dry freight moving floor, so top loader. Therefore, your bio waste insulated, and then side doors insulated, refrigerated, walk in floor refrigerated that I've never seen before, so I have no idea what you'd be hauling with that. And of course, various different prices. And then your various different wheel configs spread, uh, three axles with a tag basically, steerable, spread, steerable, basically the same as what we had before. And on this type of curtain side you can have various different types of paint jobs on it so it would be interesting to see if we see the skin packs come over to this that one I kind of like actually quite a lot we can see different company logo type skins on it initially again it's beta you just got to remember that and options pretty much exactly the same lighting the sides uh, the wheels and tire options exactly the same on over here for that, um, other than we can now put a pallet box on the back end, which kind of makes a bit more sense on this one. Yeah, if you like that there. And this is again exactly the same, exactly the same there. So they're very much similar for the time being. My guess is as the beta goes on, we'll start seeing more complex stuff. So that is really the trailers in a nutshell on buying them. Uh, let's back out of all of that. I already have a trailer, it is down at my London garage, so we'll go to Trailer Manager, because when you buy it, it just sits there. And now, something interesting that I noticed, I'm guessing, and I've not really looked into this, so I could be speaking out my ass here, that your employees could come along and go, actually, I'm going to use that trailer, because you can make it public or private. I'm not sure what they mean about that. If employees will come along and take it so we'll keep it private just in case I don't actually think I've got any uh, any employees on this one so you can relocate it or use it so do you really want this flatbed trailer yes I do and now it's hooked up well I'm not quite hooked up onto my trailer and you can see utilization and all of that good stuff so that's cool and you can see the total um, job distance and weight transported and all that good stuff okay so that is uh, that. So it doesn't connect right away. You do have to do that. I think that is everything covered. Do I actually have any drivers? I don't think so. No, I don't. Uh, what's that start? I'm guessing if it's got a tra if I've got a trailer, this is all new too by the looks of it. Interesting. Okay then. So uh, the job market that's changed obviously. Okay, so now we've got all of that over and done with. I've made it so we've got a trip basically so this is what it looks over like the trailer and truck connected unfortunately when i basically assigned the truck to the trailer it did connect unlike when i bought it so this is where it will spawn and you can get it depending on the skin you use and obviously i'm using the canadian one here you can get it to match up pretty damn sick to your truck and i like the look of it i really do I'm definitely happy about it for sure Alright, let's get started up. I, uh, I will say I'm using one mod, and that is Crutchen Balm's sound pack for this truck. And as that being in suggests, I'm guessing our air tanks have depleted. Wonderful. Yes, they have. Uh, let's bring up our... Uh, we're in gear. Why are we in gear? Bring up our RPM. Turn it down on my headset so you guys can, I can hear myself talk. get away from that annoying binging. Do we hear it from outside too? No, we don't. That's because it's good to go now. Okay, that's in drive. Park and brake off. And try not to hit the brake so we can actually build some pressure. 
Oh, this could be funny. I will go outside view and hit that to lift up the axle. So yeah, it'd definitely be cool if we can get some Michelin tires or something like that in here. Come on, build up enough pressure. So picking up cargo is pretty much the same, it seems, with a little twist. So if we go over here, we'll go to cargo market. So the freight market, I'm just going to show you guys, is the same. That's not changed by the looks of it. Go back to cargo market. Now, I don't know if you make more money from doing this. In my mind, you should be, because you're not using their trailer. You're using your trailer, putting maintenance on your trailer. So you should be getting more money, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe you are per job if you work it out. So we have our marking over there, so in gear, and we'll cruise on over, what trail is that all the way over there? Now one thing I will say is I would hope to see later down the line stuff that makes a lot more sense as far as where you're picking your cargo up, where you're dropping it off. So sort of what I mean by that is a flatbed trailer, you're not going to be picking up a piece of cargo from a place that effectively is a, like DHL where you'd be picking up stuff with a curd insider on a flatbed. That doesn't make sense. It makes sense in the base game when you're just dropping off trailers, but picking up cargo to be loaded onto a flatbed, not so much. So we're back up here. I just can't get over how, how sick this setup looks. I cannot wait to get more well, like the low loader trailers and all that stuff. Alright. And engine off, lights off, and there's a good reason for this, hit cargo. We now have a load in time, so you'll see it load, it doesn't take too long, but you see how much time it does take, so it's probably about an hour or so in game, give or take. Uh, which it was saying 9, yet it's 8.52 in game, interesting. But we now have, well actually let's see this, because I don't think this is in, uh, that's been moved too actually, but... I don't think this is. I think. Ah, oh, I think this is new. And that's seeing ratchet straps and stuff on cargo. To this degree, anyway. I think it's new. But here it is on a normal trailer, which isn't owned. My guess is a lot of this stuff is now going to be generic, so you can see how certain different types of cargo will be strapped on flatbeds. And of course, you've got your own. It seems to be matching up okay. It could do with being bored up there by the looks of it. And there's the uh, cables and all that good stuff going to it. Again, pretty cool. So let's exit out of this and uh, drive our cargo there. Well, for a do, because you guys have been waiting for me to, to uh, get driving probably for a little bit of time now. So we'll dump the axle down. Oh, it is already down. Okay. Yeah, why is that already down? There must be a little bug there. Okay. Now it's down. Actually shown in cab that it's down. Uh, let's go over some of the stuff that I've noticed so far. Your damage meter. You've got damage on the truck, obviously, and the trailer, which was always there. And now we have an extra one, which clearly I'm presuming is cargo. And that's really, per se, the only major thing I've noticed so, so, so far. Now, there's probably a lot more to this update that I'm really not covering. I'm never covered an update before. I uh, talked about it like I am in this episode or in this video. I've got lights on. So you can see on the back there how they look. Uh, the marker lights aren't working by the looks of it, but indicators, and I'm not going to try the reversing lights, obviously. It doesn't really look clean. It really does. I'm 
Now this video, as far as Euro Truck stuff goes, is going to take a lot longer than normal. I am going to cruise. I actually had a different video planned for today. I wasn't going to do the, a Euro Truck video. I was going to do American Truck Sim with the Mac Model R. The, yeah, this changed my plans very, very quickly. I thought I was going to have to take that car. Oh, and then I kind of look in. Ah, oh, okay, I'll, I'll do it for American Truck Sim. Mm -mm, nope, read that. Can't do it in American Truck yet, like I uh, said at the beginning of the video. Which I hope you guys didn't mind me talking about that. I know these videos for me don't particularly do that well. I'm not a a known person for Euro Truck, I guess. It's more of a farm sim channel. But for me, it's a case of I love both games, so I'm going to do both. Wow. Love's a pretty strong word for that. Both. I like both games. Now, one thing I will say right away, I have been experiencing, especially in this test profile where I've never loaded in certain areas, huge, huge chunks where it will chug the FPS down to like one or two FPS for split seconds as it loads in the area. It seems to not be loading that in smooth. Now this test profile I've kept fairly clean of mods on purpose. And of course now I've got this and I can't touch my main profile with pro mods but at the same time I don't want to, I, I want to experiment with the trailers, I want to learn about the trailers as much as possible. So later tonight I'll probably be doing a bit more Euro Truck with a curd inside trailer and probably buying another truck and having an AI in and seeing if they will use the trailers. Again, experimenting. Alright, let's uh, we'll do it 56 so we'll set cruise. Get off the air tank screen, don't need that anymore. Put it on fuel consumption, why not? Now usually I would go along and take a picture right now, but I'm not going to because it'll just look like, oh, you managed to find a trailer that you've got matched up. Uh-uh. We're going to get in a trailer with it. Empty and featuring that more than anything. I'll find a nice little area. A very scenic area to take a photo. But from other than trailers being added into the game, huge, don't get me wrong, absolutely monstrous. Is much really different? Yeah, maybe there's a lot going on under the hood that I don't know and I've not seen yet. I haven't really, I'll be completely honest, this isn't going to be my first look on. This is what the update consists of, this, this and this. It's mainly going to be a case of, hey, the trailers are in, this is what I think about them, this is what they look like. And one thing I'm noticing, you just saw it then, the yellow truck that went by, that crane truck that just went by on the opposite side of the motorway there. I am seeing a lot of, uh, well not a lot, a handful of traffic, which is quite clearly from the next DLC, being added into stuff this far Europe probably for testing. So I'll try and point it out next time we see one. Slow down going past that. Just out of courtesy. Move over law doesn't apply in Europe or the UK as far as I know anyway. Should do, but it doesn't. Now you watch, we're not going to see either of those vehicles I mentioned. There's one for sure, it looks like a... Uh, Camez. Basically a truck from Spin Tires. That's interesting, scanning trailer. I wonder if I've added new uh, trailers in. Yeah. I'm not too sure. Uh, what side do we need to be on? Next lane. Oh, let me over, let me over, let me over. Coming over. Or Mustang driving by. I like the fact they've added the Mustang into 
European traffic. Because, well, it is sold in Europe now. At the same time, I've said it once, I'll say it again, I think SES really need to be careful on how accurate their vi those vehicles are. Uh, here it is, that yellow truck going by right now. That looks very Russian, and we know the next DLC is up that way, so I think they've got a couple of placeholder traffic in to test stuff. I can see us having a whole lot of different traffic up there, maybe. Which is cool. So we've got about 46, 45 miles to go. We're just cruising along. I think I've already been down this road. Already. I took a trip to Felixstowe, so it's probably why it's running smooth. I think it was just around here, actually. Oh no, I didn't go down this road. It was coming up to a logging area where it completely crapped itself. It went down to like 5 FPS. And it loads it in a chunk. It's almost like back in the day of Minecraft when it loads in the next area. It did hurt quite a bit. Alright, lay off the cruise. And back home. And we're off to the races. I, I, I'm just going back over again. I don't know about you guys, but trailer ownership in Euro truck and American trucks, and I can't, can't believe they've added it at long last. So happy about that. It's definitely going to change up the way a lot of people play the game, and probably a lot more pleasurable because now, really, you've got your truck, your trailer combo that you've wanted. Like if you're running a show truck, like I'd consider this truck is instead of like a straight up working type truck or fleet truck that's cool as well and let's face it the modders the guys who make trucks and all that detail they'll probably start doing trailers now with all that detail which is kind of cool too definitely hoping we will see uh, low loaders and stuff like that low boys and being able to maybe to a point not the specialized heavy haul stuff but owning heavy haul trailers so not not owning the stuff where you have to have uh, specialized people following you and all of that the escort vehicles but that'd be cool and even tankers actually I just saw the tanker go by there I, I think they showed us being able to have one of those so that's probably going to be later down the line no doubt they want to limit people what they can use right now so they actually get tested instead of people just going, oh, I want to use that, and using that. And let's face it, how many people are actually going to test this and report back on stuff? I don't know, probably. Nothing crazy. No doubt there's cool people that always do test. I know myself, I wouldn't even know where to start testing something like this. It's probably on their forum somewhere. And oh, now I'm just cruising right on through. Just to basically get us done on this video because I've got a this is 15 minutes this segment and the last one was 8 so it's probably a lengthy video and I don't want to keep it too too long we're running it <laughs> screw it Be interesting if we get trailers like that too with the cranes and And if you do get those, maybe to load them, it took a little bit extra time compared to a normal trailer like this, for example. And it looks like the GPS going around the roundabout is kind of funky.
that's quite a lot there. Alrighty, boom. So you still need to park your trail. I think, anyway. Confirm? Yeah. So we'll go outside view for this again. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of those spread axle trailers. That needs to get kept to Europe. I don't think those are in the UK or allowed in the UK. I've never ever seen one in the UK, that's why I say that. So this is what I was referring to about the trailer drop-offs for cargo like this. Granted, this is a bit more reasonable. It's not a straight-up curtain-side dock sort of thing. That's not perfect, but that'll do. Engine off, lights off, and hit T just like normal, and it disconnects all your hoses and everything. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to hit T. Wow. That is literally facepalm moment. That is me getting used to the old mechanism. Show results, and that's it. So trailer uh, maneuver and bonus. I think that's new. I'm not 100%. Um, but you don't get anything for owning your own trailer, it seems. I'm not sure what that's all about. And then if you go uh, trailer management, let's see what it shows now. Go up here. So you can see how much it's transported, total miles. And it did down because I had to fast forward time. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll be back on Monday from Farmson. So until next time, hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later. See ya.